Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. For the last seven weeks, I've been going through online distance learning due to school closure. There's many things I miss about being within the school setting. One of them is these things. Who doesn't like a sticker? And I really enjoy seeing the children's facial expressions when I give out a sticker in person. It's a really good incentive to try and get the children a bit more motivated and it's just a really great reward. Now, obviously not being able to see the children in person, it's quite difficult to give out stickers. However, there are tools online that we can use to be able to give out stickers to children. Bitmoji specifically are a fantastic way to give out personalized stickers that children will enjoy and be a little bit motivated due to. So we're going to look at how to use Bitmoji stickers to be able to give feedback and to just sort of brighten up the school day and your marking. So let's jump straight into how to set up Bitmojis online. Now, if you've seen my interactive Bitmoji classroom tutorial, then you'll know how to do this already. So you can jump to this part here and then we'll look at what to do to be able to give those rewards through Google Classroom, but also Seesaw 2. So what we need to do first is actually get a Bitmoji account. So to do that, you're gonna to go to Bitmoji and click here. You'll be able to set up your own Bitmoji account. Now it is a little bit addictive, so spend as much time as you want to on this, but I suppose it's up to you how much time you want to spend on this. So from there, what you'll need is this little Bitmoji add-on that you can see here. And that's where we're going to have all of our virtual stickers. Now to do that, we're going to type in Bitmoji Chrome extension. From there, you can see, I've already been on it before, but you will have something like add to Chrome. Now, I'm not gonna remove it and add it because I have to log on and everything like that, but you'll add it straight there and you'll just set up and log in through this little section that you can see here. Now, from there, what we need to do is look at the types of stickers that we can add in through Google Classroom, Google Slides, Google Docs, and things like that, because there's a little bit of discrepancy between Google Docs and Google Classroom. From there, then, we're also going to look at how to use them in Seesaw so that you can give that fun, personalized feedback on that platform, too. So now you can see I'm on Google Slides that I've opened up through Google Classroom. It's just a piece of work of mine that I've just quickly drafted up for this video instead of it being a child's. Now, to mark a piece of work normally, I would highlight green and pink according to my school's marking policy. Uh, if it was something like a picture that a child's uploaded to give some feedback, I might insert a tick. And to do that, I'd go to insert image and search from web. And then as you can see here, drag and drop a tick on. It's quite cumbersome and takes a bit of time and it's not very personalized. So now we can come to the Bitmojis up in this corner. And then once you've signed on, there's a range of different stickers that you can see here. There's a tick one here, and it just adds that fun, personalized element of it. There's also a range of other ones. So if I type in, like you see uh, wow up here, or if I type in fantastic, you can see this one here would be pretty good. So just make sure you think about the uh, appropriateness of the ones that you actually pick. That's just one key tip that I'd give you. So now we're on Google Docs, and as you can see, I've included an absolute belter of an English sentence. The cat's are on the mat, and I want to give myself a sticker for that. Now you'll see what I mean by this, there's a slight difficulty with the format in here. Now, if I want to add that in, can you see this blue line that starts to pop up on the screen, just sort of over here-ish? Now, wherever I put it, that means it's going to go to the side. So if I want the sticker to go in between the sentences, it's gonna crop up there, and then I can change the size in from there too. Um, it's a little bit difficult to bring it on and move it about as we did in Google Slides. So then I can put it underneath, but it's not as good as Google Slides, but it's just something to keep in mind. So there's more things you can do with Bitmoji stickers. You could obviously use them in emails. You could put them into work that you upload for the children. You could do all sorts of different things with the Bitmoji stickers, but we're going to jump on to how to upload them into Seesaw now. So this is Seesaw on the laptop or desktop. Doesn't really matter. As you can see, this is a sample class. Sample student has submitted a fantastic, great piece of work. Now we're going to click on the three corners down in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to go up to edit item. From there, we're going to go up into the top right hand corner back to where we were with the Bitmoji for Google Classroom. Click on that one. Now it's up to you what you type in. I'm just gonna pick something different. And we'll choose the congrats one. Now you're going to two finger click or right click if, you're, if you've got a mouse, 
copy image. Now, because you can't do that there, it's hard to right click. You're just going to press Command V. And as you can see, there we go. So the process for uploading Bitmoji stickers onto Seesaw for phone or iPad is slightly different. First, go to the Bitmoji app. Select the Bitmoji that you want using the search tool and hold it down and save the image. Once you've done that, go to the Seesaw application, click onto the piece of work using the bottom right hand corner, the three dots. Once you go to that, go to edit item. After that, make sure you click on the camera and then to upload. Once you've done that, wait a little second and select the Bitmoji that you've saved to the camera onto the piece of work. And that will upload the Bitmoji sticker onto that piece of work. Make sure you press save and it will show up for the pupil too. And that is how to use Bitmoji stickers within your Google Classroom or Seesaw. Hopefully you've learned something new in this video. If you have, feel free to like the video and subscribe, it's always appreciated. Welcome to those guys who are new to the channel and hopefully I see you in the next one. For now, I'm out.